Hey everyone, Lily here. I'm really excited to show you what we're gonna make today. These are chicken lollipops. These are great as appetizers, but they can also make a great meal if you add rice or any side that you like to them. They're made in the air fryer for a healthier alternative, but if you don't have an air fryer, you can also put them on a baking tray and uh, roast them or bake them in the oven. I made them with a honey soy garlic sauce that I mixed right into the chicken lollipops. You can also use the sauce as a dipping sauce on the side. It will only take you 30 minutes to make these from start to finish, so it makes for an easy weeknight dinner. If you stick with me until the end of this video, I will show you how to make it. So let's start with preparing the chicken drumsticks first. Use a small sharp knife to cut around the circumference of the thin part of the bone near where the gristle or the joint is. Sometimes while you're cutting, a few strands of cartilage may pop out, which is okay. You can just cut them off. Then scrape the meat downward with your knife to separate it from the bone and push the meat down to the bottom. Next, you want to make a three-quarter incision along just one side of the meat. It will help make it easier to flip the meat inside out. Be sure not to cut all the way through or else your lollipop will not hold its shape. Be careful while you're flipping the meat because there is a small piece of bone known as the fibula that will stick out and it can easily poke you. You can break off the fibula or you can cut it off with your kitchen shears. Once all of your drumsticks are shaped into lollipops, season them with one and a half teaspoon kosher or sea salt, one teaspoon garlic powder, and a quarter teaspoon ground black pepper. If you're using table salt, substitute with only one teaspoon instead of one and a half, since it tends to be more salty than kosher. Mix until everything is evenly combined. Then add two tablespoons vegetable or canola oil and massage it into the chicken. After you finish mixing, reshape the lollipops if needed. Preheat your air fryer to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. If you do not have an air fryer, you can oven fry the lollipops instead. I will leave a link for the oven fry method to my recipe down below. In a medium bowl with half a cup of cornstarch, roll each chicken lollipop around in the starch to coat it thoroughly. You can coat the gristle too if you like. Place it on a tray lined with parchment paper or aluminum foil. Repeat this step until all the lollipops are coated with cornstarch. Spray the chicken with cooking oil. If you do not have an oil spray, you can brush vegetable or canola on instead. A little oil is needed here to help crisp up the cornstarch coating. In my opinion, this is still a healthier alternative than to deep fry the chicken. Spray the air fryer basket with oil and place three or four pieces of chicken in without crowding the basket. Air fry each batch for 10 to 12 minutes until the chicken is golden brown. Make sure to flip it halfway for even cooking. If you have a food thermometer, check that the internal temperature is 165 degrees Fahrenheit in order for the chicken to be fully cooked. When the last batch of chicken is almost done cooking in the air fryer, it's a good time to get started on the sauce. Heat one tablespoon vegetable or canola oil in a large skillet over a medium heat. Then add one teaspoon minced garlic and fry it until it starts to turn light brown. Pour in half a cup of soy sauce. Half a cup of pure honey. And two tablespoons rice vinegar. Stir to combine everything and turn the heat up to medium-high heat until the sauce starts to bubble. In a separate bowl, create the slurry by combining 1 tablespoon cornstarch and 2 tablespoons water. Then slowly pour the slurry into the sauce and continue to stir until it thickens. At this point, you can reserve the sauce for dipping on the side by removing it off the heat, or you can combine all of the air fried chicken with the sauce. 
Lastly, garnish with a sprinkle of chopped green onions or chives and serve the chicken lollipops while they're still warm. You can serve them as appetizers or add a side like rice or salad to make this a meal. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, comment down below, and be sure to subscribe to my channel. See you in my next video.